Hey, welcome back. This is Carlos. Today we're talking about, well, that ultimate question of questions. Does he like you? Well, we're going to talk about five flirty text messages that reveal the truth. Because the fact is, it's an unavoidable fact of life that everybody and their grandmother has a cell phone and their face is just glued to it. Even grandpa has got his face stuck in his phone. So you can use this wonderful little device to tell you more than you'll ever need to know about whether or not he likes you. So let's go into some flirty text messages. But first, a couple of quick tips about texting. Because like other forms of modern communication, email and voicemail and all that stuff, texting is a great tool for flirting if you know how to use it. It's so effective, in fact, that it, I've used it to start more than my share of relationships and I coach women how to use it all the time. So here are some power tips that can be your do's and don'ts. First of all, do be playful even if he seems to be blowing you off. Remember that there's always the possibility that he might not be interested or he might just be doing something else. Guys don't check their phones 24 seven. We're not as into our phones as most women are. And a lot of times we'll see a text message, we'll chuckle and laugh at it, but we don't feel inspired to answer it right that second. It can be a little bit disconcerting to women who aren't prepared for that fact. There could be a ton of reasons why he isn't answering you. Maybe a relationship isn't at the top of his priorities right now. Maybe he's met somebody else. Hey, it's a possibility, an ugly one, but it's there. He might have issues that have nothing whatsoever to do with you. Actually, that's very frequent. And he might be kind of a flaky guy, which also has nothing to do with you and is just as frequent. Power tip number two, do avoid platonic sounding texts. The last thing a guy ever wants to hear from a woman is, or at least a potential girlfriend, is that uh, he's just friends with her in some way or she's considering him as just friends. We're very hypersensitive to that because we know what it feels like more often than not to get put into the friend zone. So be careful about using terms that might make him think, ah, she's just kind of into me as a friend. I'll back off because that's exactly what he'll do. Using things like, uh, dude, did you see this? Dude is not a term that a chick should ever use for a guy. So be careful of those terms. And texting power tip number three, don't jump on a last minute text. In other words, it might be uh, close to midnight and you're about to snuggle up with a good book or a cup of chamomile tea. Do women really drink that? I'm just curious about that. But your phone buzzes and what does he do? Well, he sends you a text message that says, hey, you busy? Hmm, do you answer that, yes or no? That's the trick question, isn't it? Well, that depends completely on what you want from him. If you're just looking for a no strings hookup, well, hey, go for it. But you know what? I'm not here to judge you if you're not looking for something serious. But if you are interested in something a little bit more long term, then you need to hold your horses and wait till the next day. Just text him something like, hey, I'm really beat tonight, but I'm free on Thursday. That'll give him an option and it'll give him the opportunity to re-engage with you. If you don't hear from him again, well, you know, it's probably just a booty call. So get him to open up text number one is get in his head. Do you want to know if you're in his thoughts? Well, the best way to find out is to throw him a curveball by making the first move. And this is where you send the, I was just thinking about you text. Let's say you're, uh, you're at the grocery store and you saw something that suddenly reminded you of your man. Try texting him this. Hey there, I just passed by the aisle of Blue Gatorade and I remember that office prank you told me about last week. Now you got me thinking about it. This is all your fault. And then you just leave the ball in his court, so to speak. If you get an equally flirty reply to him, from him, then you know you're on the right track and you keep it going. Get him to open up text number two, start his day right. Here's another way to plant yourself in his thoughts the whole day through is you wanna be the first thing on his mind. Send him a short and sweet little text in the morning to kind of, well, spark his imagination as early as you can in the day. It can be something as simple as, hey, good looking, how's the day looking for you? Or isn't it looking wonderful outside? Whatever it is, it can be the smallest message. It could be a little, hey, how's it going? Hey, you have your coffee, anything like that. And you never know what, he might ask you to meet up with him for a quick coffee yourself sometime during the day or make plans with him. The point is you gotta give him that little nudge that his imagination needs because guys are very linear with our thinking. Get him to open up text number three is share your woes. If you're having a crappy day, well, you don't want to use that as an opportunity to whine too much or bitch, but you want it to be a little bit more inspirational than that. You can complain in a slightly sarcastic, funny way and get away with it. Let's say one of your coworkers is extra annoying today. You can turn that opportunity into some way to connect with him in a very lighthearted way. I'll give you an example. Um, good news is the girl from accounting decided to bathe today, but the bad news is their lunch got infused with garlic and there's an incredible smell. Can't win them all, I guess. Put a little smiley emoticon in there. Hope your day's going good, LOL. See how I used a little bit of humor in there to offset the complaining side of it. It's a good way to kind of bridge that gap. 
Get him to open up text number four is to bring out the man in him. See, nothing gets a guy pumped up more than the little pep talk to encourage him to kick some butt during the day. Now, you don't have to give him a full-blown football coach in the locker room type speech, but a few well-chosen words can work really good. Maybe you know he's going to do a presentation that day. You can send him something that says, hey, good luck on the presentation. I know you're going to crush it and look like a boss doing it. That kind of thing is awesome to a guy when he knows he's got your support. Very few women do this kind of thing for guys outside of relationships, but much less inside of relationships. You can set yourself apart immediately. And get him to open up text number five is turn up the heat. That's right. When the time's right, you can test the waters by sending him something a little naughty to see how he reacts to it. So keep in mind, this is going from PG, uh, from G to PG, maybe even in the slightly R-rated territory. So you're going to want to approach this with caution, especially if you haven't broached the subject of sex in any way before. That said, just use something ambiguous to kind of start things up. Something like, um, hey, what's up? I just finished cleaning up after a crazy day at work. That shower just changed my life. I feel so clean, I can now unwind. Or, ugh, I just gave my yoga pants an upgrade. The last stretch tore a hole in my butt and I had to relocate to the back of the class. I'm such a dork, lol. You're not just making small talk here, you're also giving him a chance to think about you and specifically your body. This is a great way to gradually get a guy more, thinking about you more and more, less like a friend, more like a possible lover. You see, guys give off signals that a lot of women miss, or they, when they read them, they misinterpret them, or maybe they get it too late. And this is one of the big reasons why relationships don't fully blossom and they get stuck in the land of shoulda, coulda, woulda. If you want to avoid sending off a premature text and knowing that he's not ready for it, well, you better know how to read his signals first. And I've got something that can do that for you right off the bat. I'll show you exactly how to read a man's signals and know whether or not he's into you and avoid those little embarrassing mistakes. You can figure out exactly where you stand with him. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash read his signals. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash read his signals, just like you see down there. And I'll be back again next time. This is Carlos Cavallo from Dating Advice Guru. Where else? DatingAdviceGuru.com. Talk to you next time.